Hey, I heard that KFC was going boneless. Wonder how you raise a boneless chicken. Wonder how they move around. Maybe they're like feel and they keep them in a cage. Oh, well that would suck. Yeah, it would. I would have to eat, quit eating chickens then. Or raise my own real chickens, old fashioned kind that like had bones that moved around. <laughs> Not these new fancy, you boneless know. Boneless chickens. Yeah. New fangled boneless things. New fangled like that commercial. Back in my day, we couldn't just move the TV anywhere willy-nilly. Wherever the plug was, that's where we had to watch TV. Okay, let's put some thighs in there. It's a good thing this bird is a vegetarian. It's like nice and lean, huh? If it ate fast bird food, it would have really big thighs, right? There, you see that, you saw that feather coming out there on the side. I'm laying it up where the muscle would go. Again, it's really tempting to like really just fill the crap out of it, but you just don't need that much. And you can groom it, you know. And I know this, people are going, oh, that's archaic but this is how they used to do it you know and like I tell my students if you want to use plastic heads plastic bodies plastic this plastic that if you want to use cock you know whatever I don't care I just think that you should at least learn on whose shoulders you're standing and how to do it you know the original way first before you go putting parts together you know I mean I see in the book they got fake duck legs they got fake everything you know I mean, you know oh I was cracking up one time at the show so the guy used the legs the fake feet so he would get, wouldn't get dinked for shrinkage now if you think about shrinkage for a minute let's talk about that how much does stuff shrink okay roughly 10 percent right so say this foot's going to shrink 10%. How big is that? It's nothing. You, you, you wouldn't even notice the shrinkage. You wouldn't even be able to probably calibrate it out. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, getting back to my story. So the guy puts the fake feet on. And so, oh, he didn't get dinged for shrinkage. You know what he got dinged for? There's an important safety tip. Make sure you mark them right and left. He put the left foot and leg on the right side and the right one on the left one. And even the judge almost didn't catch it. So, well look, see I've sewed this bird up already, darn it. Does that make me a bad person? Okay. Tying it off. one more time you tie it into the down feather sometimes it'll really grab pretty good okay done now next thing to do before I set my eyes and do all that I'm going to blow it out. I'm going to mount it on this piece of wood, but just so I don't disturb this bird, I think I'll stick it in this foam and pre. Pre do it a little bit. And then you want to call that pre pose it.
Okay, so what I was talking about, about blowing it out, gonna make some noise. Come in and blow these down feathers out. So I just changed my mind again. I'm gonna blow this out, start it up for part three and finish it. So we'll see you next Tuesday.